What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Movie Talks. Once again, I have a great friend with me, and we're going to talk about an interesting thing. Everybody say hello to Hey Goo Fran! Hello! What's going on, my friend? <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, fantastic. And I am, it's a pleasure, as always, to talk to you, and, and of even more of a pleasure to be able to have a an in-depth chat about something. What are we going to talk about this time? What are we going to talk about this time? We, um, I think we should talk about Hereditary. Well, by golly, that sounds like a gee golly willikers <laughs> of an idea. <laughs> <laughs> When's, uh, gee willikers! <laughs> how long ago did you watch this one? Um, it's been a few months. I mean, I watched it soon after it was, uh, out of theaters you know what i mean like when you could stream it but i watched it again like a few months ago because um i felt like i needed to watch it again it's kind of yeah complicated you know it is it's one of those i, I actually watched it multiple times also i think twice and then editing yeah i think at least twice is a must for yeah, you to really, it really catch is. everything because yeah, yeah it has like its own like mythology going on and you really have to like look out for like small details yeah that yeah. kind of like i don't know that was me anyway i was it, definitely the second time around i was noticing like things i did not notice before exactly i was avoiding like hearing people talk about it because i knew that it was gonna it was gonna deal with some stuff that that was not in the trailers and i was really mm -hmm. interested in it but i did not know it was actually gonna be end up being like one of my favorite new horror movies me either i never expect that out of modern horror i mean i'm just kind of that person like i really like 80s movies and i always go back to the classics yeah. um but yeah no this one i would say it's one of my favorite horror movies in a really long time i like, totally agree really long time do you feel like the the second watch <sighs> added to to your enjoyment or took away from it in any way i think it added to it definitely because like i said the first time around it never feels good at the end of a movie when you feel confused mm -hmm. <laughs> like because i was so interested in how everything was unfolding in the story but i was definitely confused at the end and i just i don't like that so i definitely recommend watching it a couple times if it seems hazy like it was for me it's one of those where, like, when you walk, uh, I don't know, I didn't see it in theater, but I assume when you walk out of theater or you're just watching it for the first time with a friend, you're both going to have things to talk about. Like, mm -hmm. what does this mean, and why did that happen, and how does it fit in? There's, mm -hmm. This is one that needs discussion after you're done watching. Definitely. <laughs> I was definitely turning to people like, wait, what, what was that? What did that mean? Did you get that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. the Like I said, the second time I watched it, I saw so many things I didn't notice before. And I was kind of like telling people about what I saw, people who had seen it with me the first time. And they were like, what? I didn't get that at all. Yeah. Is there, <laughs> is there one, like a, a movie in the past that this one like reminds you of? Is it is it similar to any that you can think of? Oh, that's a good question. What would I compare this movie to? It definitely gives me the feel of some other movie, but it's hard to really. I'd say that like the look and feel of it are very like, kind of James Wan like <clears throat> insidious conjuring type. But the writing, the writing oh and yeah, the acting conjuring. Is, is like... That's a good one. The uh, conjuring. That's a good comparison because of the like atmosphere, I yeah, guess, totally. and just like I don't know, cinematography, whatever, whatever. Just like the whole overall feel and like. I don't know. It made my stomach turn without being yeah. like over the top, like gory or like CGI explosion, mm -hmm. like nothing like that. It didn't have to be. I guess. I, so I really like that. Man, there was one. There's a character in the movie. This is a big old 100 percent spoilers, guys. So if you don't want to hear any more about Hereditary and uh, the things that happen, then uh, don't watch any further. Because uh, there's two major things that I think. One of them is this movie deals with witches and witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And the other one is little girl's head gets fucking knocked off. <laughs> fucking knocked wow. off. Not cut off. Knocked the fuck off. Knocked off. Did you that see that coming? That was so 
unexpected. Exactly. What so the hell? unexpected. What, what are they doing? What are they thinking? Did not see it coming. And I mean, you see the trailers, and like, I don't really like to watch trailers too much, or like, like you know, no spoilers, whatever. Yeah. But like, you just assume that that character is going to be there the long haul. Like, this is one of the main fucking characters. That's what I thought. I thought <laughs> the it was movie, be all you know? about this one character, <laughs> right? The, the one, this girl. I thought it was going to be all about her. It's called Hereditary, you know. And this is like the youngest person in the family, and we talk about the grandma in the beginning and their relationship. So you just assume, like, this is our character. This is who we're riding with through the movie, you know? Yeah. Boy, but yeah, but be wrong. God damn, yeah, they fucking <laughs> showed us, didn't they? Uh, that really made my stomach turn. Just, it did. You know, yeah, the, it, ugh, but the it's sounds. Not like, they they didn't do it in, like you said. Like it's not in an over, an overdone way. It wasn't gory. Yeah, it wasn't it's not like, like Sam that. Raimi. You know, like yeah. it was just. Ugh. But man, <laughs> and like the impact, like. Fucking, yes, like, brothers, yes. like, taking his sister to, to, like, the hospital, and her goddamn head gets knocked off. And it's like, and he sits there in the car, not saying a word, and you could just see the emotion on his face. Like, he just doesn't know how to deal with what just happened. Right. And that's how everybody in the audience felt. Mm -hmm. Like, how am I supposed to process this? <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I was like, there's no way. This is, like, not a joke, but, like... Like a dream just, or yeah, like a Yeah, like a dream or something. Be... It's not yeah. a goddamn dream. Not a dream. Wow. A nightmare. Um, yeah, that was just incredible. And then he just drives home, parks the car, and goes to bed, just leaving like the decapitated body in the car. I didn't know how to feel. I was just like, I was. <clears throat> that was kind rough. Of, yeah, that's rough. It's and then really you rough. hear fucking Tony Collette, great performance, amazing mm -hmm. Tony Collette, fucking mother character. Yeah. God damn, like when she finds. She won the body. like an award for that role, right? Well, she should have. I, I know people the were big, talking uh, about it. I don't know. What are those movie know. awards called? <laughs> yeah, she got the the fucking <laughs> she got the decapitated Oscar award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she did a great job though. She really deserved that. And she's just howling from the fucking sadness of the situation, and he's like, "Not, ugh, I'm not gonna talk anymore about that part." But there are moments yeah. where this feels like a legit nightmare. Oh yeah. I mean, it just kicks off at that first, like, party. Like, they're out together at that party, and she starts having, like, the throat reaction to, like, nuts in the brownies or whatever. She had a nut allergy. Yeah. Allergic to From it. there on, it's just a nightmare. Like, <laughs> and that fucking <laughs> click noise life. she kept doing, like, that started really getting to me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Did you hear that? I, what the fuck is that? Dude, there's a scene where her mom's driving, like, after her death, and... I think she had just come from that pole. She was, like, investigating. And she heard the noise in the car. Do you remember that part? I do, actually. <laughs> that yes. made me jump out of my seat. It was, like, right. It was kind of quiet at first. And then it was, like, yes. right in her ear. There's nothing there. <laughs> nothing. Wow. Woo. Little things like that. If it can get, you know, a jump out of me. That's great. Yeah. I love that. And it's legitimate. It's not, like, a, it's not a cheap jump scare. It's, like, it's well earned. Mm-hmm. It starts off so dark. Like, it's, what is it? It's uh, Annie, the mom. Isn't it, like, her mom's funeral or something? Yeah, the grandma character, yeah. <sighs> Matriarch of the family. A really good visual scare moment was when uh, when Tony Collette character is, the mom character is seeing, she sees, like, the grandma kind of standing and, like, smiling in a shadow. It's not, like, a total dark shadow, but it's, like, you can see it, and then she flips on the light, and it's not there anymore, and it just kind of, like, gave me chills. Ooh, which part was that? It's a little bit toward the beginning, like after the the grandma. After funeral, the funeral. But, yeah. Do you remember the the scene where like, like he he I don't know if it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's sort of like a nightmare before another nightmare or something. <laughs> and like he sees the sister and she's standing there again in like a shadow scene and like mm -hmm. her head falls off into a basketball and like rolls <laughs> yeah. into into the light. Like oh. Ooh. <laughs> but goddamn, nothing freaked me out as much as the as the scene where like the kid wakes up or the the boy the the brother wakes up from a nightmare and uh, and she's like standing there talking cool. to him. Oh yeah! Oh wait, when she's sitting there like silently screaming. Uh, maybe. there was like two or three nightmare moments. I'm sorry. It's yeah, no, there's there's a bunch. <laughs> like, earlier in the in the movie, she was talking about like how she had a dream about 
uh, like covering her kids in gas and then lighting a fire or whatever. Oh yeah, so yeah. Then, like, after the kid wakes up from thinking somebody was gonna like pull his head off, the mother is standing there. Then they have a conversation like it's normal, and then oh yeah, the camera like comes back to her and she's like wet, like she's like dripping with liquid, and then a fucking fire starts, and it's like oh yeah, I uh, that it was a yeah. That ruined my brain. <laughs> right, because you think he's brain. woken up, and then yeah. that happens, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> wow. Did they ever explain, like, why she had slept walk and tried to light them on fire? Was that just, does that go with the title hereditary? Like, is it, like, mental illness, or, like... They sort of imply what? that it's like, like that, I think. But uh, okay. I think it was the witchcraft. Like, the, the, the grandma character was so mm -hmm. involved in the witchcraft that whatever those witches were doing like <laughs> kept translating into the you know future into the family so i don't know maybe she right. fucked up the mother character i don't remember well i mean yeah. i just i don't know for sure yeah it's hard to say it really they it's all so blended you know when you get into the witchcraft <laughs> <laughs> you hearing that when you get into the witchcraft, dude, it starts getting real complicated. When she meets, like, the lady that says she knew she was a psychic, or, or, like, she talked to a psychic to channel her dead grandson. They met at, like, a grieving meeting or something. Yeah. <clears throat> That's when it starts to get pretty interesting for me with, like, the supernatural stuff like that. She starts talking about contacting the other side and how Annie can, uh, contact charlie if she does like this little like spell or whatever it starts to get really creepy then i like i like that turn I'm a little worried at that okay. point that it was going to go too much into stuff we've already seen you know mm -hmm. like i've seen a ton of horror movies and i'm usually not impressed with a lot of them but, yeah um, for sure and, and so i thought they were going to that like oh you see like a piece of chalk write a thing a ghost writing a <laughs> yeah. thing like i i've seen it i'm always like <laughs> It might sound bad, but for me, when I find out it's, like, a bad ghost or, like, a evil presence, I get, like, more into it. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be good, you know? Yeah, me too. It's not just going to be chalk writing. That thing was doing all kinds of things. The demon's name was King Paimon or something. Paimon, yeah. Paimon? Paimon? Pa Paimon. Pa no, that's Paimon? what I said. It was Paimon, Paimon. I think. That's what they say. But when they Paimon. show it, I actually noticed this, I think, on the second watch, I noticed it. When they look at the picture of the demon from a book, it has, like, little heads. It has three little heads, like, as trophies hanging off its belt. Okay. And in I this didn't movie, the little girl loses the head. The uh, grandmother character ends oh, people yeah. like Grave Rob and cut her head off. Mm -hmm. And at the end, the mother, mother. cuts her head off. So there's three oh, heads. Three heads that the part. Oh, I thought we were going to wait to get to that part. That part <laughs> yeah. really, like, that was, to me, the scare, the most frightening image in the movie. It's Besides, upsetting. Like, it's Charlie's death. Upsetting. That really got into my gut. Like, that was disturbing. What? <laughs> You're right. I should have saved it for a bit later. I didn't understand what was happening the first watch. I thought she was stabbing herself in the neck. Like, she was floating and stabbing herself in the neck. That's not what it was. She was no. hanging herself hanging and cutting and her own sawing. head off. With, a <laughs> with fucking, like, like, razor like, wire. Yeah, with a goddamn <laughs> wire. Yeah. That was unreal. Like, ugh. Yeah, it was just the image for me that, like, stayed with me after the movie. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, that scared me. This is definite nightmare fuel for people that are not used to this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, that whole scene where the mom's just enraged with whatever the thing, I guess, and uh, she's like banging on the attic door. She's like freaking like upside down on the ceiling, banging on the attic door. That was insane. Well, that that made me wonder what the rules are. I think the rules of these creatures or possessions or whatever is happening get a little cloudy because like she's able to climb onto the ceiling. She's banging on the thing, trying to get up to the attic. And then mm -hmm. in the next scene, she's just there. Like, how did she get there? What yeah. Of, what are the rules? I don't know. Maybe she, like, teleported to the top through a window or something. <laughs> well, you got, I don't know. Like a demon teleportation? <laughs> yeah, Wasn't man. There's, talked this about. is ghost rules. <laughs> ghost rules, man. Come on. Magic. <laughs> Goddamn magic ghost rules. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. All I know is we definitely didn't expect her to appear in the attic, and she fucking did. It worked. And she was sawing her own head off. <laughs> Well, even even having her the scene right before that, she was like high, she was like on the ceiling, like up in a corner, just like hanging on like fucking Spider Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Whenever um, you mean whenever they're by the fireplace, in that room. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was when the kid, uh, the, when the brother guy finds the dad's dead body, and mm -hmm. like he's looking at that and all terrified, but like yeah. in the background, in it, the like, background, it focuses a little bit, and you see her yep. just like hanging from the ceiling. And then, and then it fucking pans away, and she comes out of a different place, which is a little <laughs> traditional jump scare type. Yeah, but, absolutely. But they're so good. Like, I give them fucking passes on all this shit if, it, if it's trophy the creepy, or whatever. creepy uh, crawling lady in a nightgown is definitely a classic trope, but is, I'm yeah. with it. Like, it will always scare me. Yeah. <laughs> That's always going to conjure up something in me. Like, oh, scary. I was wondering about one of the nightmares parts where like peter wakes up from a nightmare and he's just kind of sat there in the dark like breathing like oh, trying to catch his breath and think about what just happened and like in the background i swear i saw like maybe it was the mom i thought oh, yeah. it was charlie no, she, she, no time, she was there too but it was the mom okay and she was yeah, crawling yeah. in his room on the wall yeah that, that was right before that the other scene we just talked we're kind of oh, going backwards my on gosh. This one. Yeah, yeah sorry no, that's, that that's... I was thinking about the crawling on the wall and that part, like, oh, that it's got me. It's super creepy. Like, it's <laughs> such good use of, like, lighting and shadows and shit. It is. And, like, the little yeah. symbols. Did you notice that the, the yes. little symbol was on the telephone pole? On the telephone pole. I did not notice that until the second time I watched it. Yeah. Uh, the same symbols are in the attic as well it, when she's, yes. like, up there and looking around so was this was everything preordained by the witches the, the grandma or totally whatever? yeah i think so it sounds like they wanted to do it a lot sooner but charlie wasn't you know wasn't a boy they wanted to do it that i charlie think at the later. end that part sort of got a little muddy for me also like mm -hmm. the, at the very very end like she's one of the, the witch ladies is trying to explain like the previous body wasn't a boy so we killed right. that person and now you're that person it does he but he does the click so it's like is does the click come from the demon guy or does that i thought that was just a little girl thing apparently payman was living in charlie but he cannot take his full like form or use any of his like power unless he was in a male body so he was actually like chilling in charlie apparently that's what i think that's why that's him making the noise i don't think that was charlie okay that actually makes it make <laughs> more sense yeah because uh that's what i'm thinking because when charlie was a baby although grandma couldn't use charlie she still like cling like clinged to, Char bleh, to charlie like they said they were like yeah. really close grandma was really possessive over her yeah i think they were just using that as a temporary vessel until they could get close to a male they said there was a, uh, you have to have an item that was special for the person that you're trying to conjure back or whatever. So it was her sketchbook that she was drawing things in mm -hmm. that was like the link to the other side or whatever. And, and there was there was another scene where the mother walks into the room right before the, the weird uh, gasoline boy waking up scene where mm -hmm. she sees the, the sketchbook on the bed and it's just drawing things without without a pencil. It's just drawing things oh, in yeah. the sketchbook. So like, mm -hmm. what are the goddamn rules? <laughs> like, it, uh, you know, on that on the chalkboard, you needed a piece of chalk, <laughs> but in this one, a demon can draw whatever they want. I guess. What are the rules? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. What are the Payment rules? Payment is an artist. Payment like. Payment. <laughs> 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 he doesn't. He doesn't need any any tools to sketch. That's <laughs> he right. Does it with with his demon brain. Demon brain sketch. Demon brain sketch. It definitely got, like you said, muddy when it got to the whole which body is it possessing or like, it was like kind of jumping around to like different family members at the end there. And, and where it is. The climax, you know. It might be a little confusing, but it's still like, that didn't affect my overall enjoyment of it. I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. No, totally. Just questions. And, and like, <clears throat> maybe, maybe we're not quick enough to catch you know to answer mm -hmm. the questions on a first watch yeah hey i'm not afraid to say i just didn't catch it all the first time there's a lot i feel 
top five, top three that you would put this in the category of or anything? Would I put this movie in what category? Like a category of like your favorite. I think this is like, oh, this is like one of my favorites. Definitely. This is like in my top ten favorite horror movies, I think. It's got a special place in my heart now. Special place in your decapitated (laughs) head. (laughs) (laughs) I would definitely say hands down, if you're just broad umbrella term, modern horror, this is my favorite modern horror movie right now. Like, 100%. The sketchbook was the line to the dark side or whatever, and when the dad threw the sketchbook into the into the fire, he caught mm-hmm. on fire. Okay, yeah. It gets a little like, confusing right there for me. It was like a protection spell or something. What? The demon <laughs> needed a link to uh, the real world, and it was using the sketchbook. So oh, what... right, because Charlie's body was gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like one of those That's it. the witches probably put like whatever she said. I don't think we hear it out loud, but uh, the one lady told the mother character to say something out loud that we don't hear, and I think that is what attaches her to the book or to the sketch thing. Well, hold on a second. That all sounds yes, yes, dandy. But at that moment, okay, the dad and Annie are having the confrontation in front of the fireplace. He's, like, holding the journal, and she's like, burn it. But he won't, remember? She ends up burning it, and he catches on fire. Uh, Is that because... I don't know, I thought it was something weird, like, Payman was in in the dad for a moment. And then when she did that... No, that doesn't make sense. It's gotta be, he must have been in the journal. But well, then I feel like, yeah, she threw the journal in the fire. Why did Steve catch on fire? Well, to go back even just a bit further there was a moment earlier where she tries to light it on fire but she catches on fire when she's trying to burn it oh, and then as right. soon as that's put out the fire on her gets put out so whatever person is trying to destroy it ends up getting caught on fire i guess okay but then was he not the one at the end that tosses it in? i didn't think he was the, i thought he said i can't do it or something and she grabbed it and she threw it in that's what i oh, thought that's I, right I, yeah I that did happen but yeah, I think she threw it in, and he caught on fire. So somehow he... That kind of threw me off. I was like, wait. <laughs> There's too many questions. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Payman was in the dad at that moment, and he was talking her out of burning it because he was Payman. He was like, no, don't burn that. Um, Could have been. But if he was in there, um, why would he want that person to be burned? Yeah, I don't... That's not, well, I don't even know. when she was possessed at one point, she, uh, the Charlie girl is in her body. The first time she is able to like conjure the thing back after doing the ritual or whatever with, mm-hmm. with the other family people, she starts talking like like Charlie. And like, But was that Charlie or was I don't that Payman? You know, yeah. <laughs> Still after two, after two watches and a bunch of editing <laughs> shit and rewatching this shit, I still have questions. Mhm, me too. Like I feel like I I do I learned a lot the second time, but yeah, I still have questions. I still get a little confused. But mainly, like, we with that fire scene. I was very confused there. Like, wait, why did Steve just catch on fire? And did Payman just jump into the mod when he caught on fire? Yeah, questions. I feel like, I feel like that is what happened, but... <sighs> I, think it's, I don't know, it, man. I bet, I bet the people that made it don't even know the answers. They just know <laughs> that it's, it's ambiguous and uh, vague enough where it could be any one of these theories. <laughs> and that's good writing. Mm-hmm, definitely. And I was always wondering, like, why didn't they go after Annie's husband's body, you know? But I guess it had to be in, like, Grandma's bloodline is what I'm, I guess. You know, witch's bloodline. Well, it was also three, the heads came from three women. Maybe that's a thing. It was the daughter, it was the <clears> mother, <throat> and the grandmother. And maybe that's part of yeah, it. Yeah, I just mean, like, why couldn't Payman take Steve's body, the dad, but instead of... Peter he doesn't need the body, he just needs the heads as trophies or something, right? No, she, uh, Payman needs a male host. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He absolutely needs a male host to, exi- to like, I guess, use his power if you want to just layman's... Well, he would want, I don't like, know a how young, they... like, a young man's body, right? Like. Yeah, I guess so. Older man's body. Or maybe it has to be blood, you know, related to grandma. Oh, yeah, maybe. Because she was, like, the 
<laughs> You're breaking up some know. shit I hadn't thought the about. The head witch, you know? <laughs> I, I thought know. so much about all this. Like, the dad... Okay, like, he's not an ignored character, but, like, we've, you know, we've talked about a lot of stuff so far. and We've barely mentioned him. He's kind of an overlooked... It's easy to overlook dad in this movie. Payman definitely set dad on fire. I just want to know, like, why? Maybe because he was just too, like, not mentally ill. <laughs> he was, like, too stable. Yeah, he was, like... yeah that's, that's a good point. Because <laughs> Payman, you know, able to manipulate everyone else, maybe, except dad. I don't know. Well, because he doesn't believe in that stuff and not yeah. mentally ill, as far as we know. Of course, yeah. we get the obligatory... Uh, it's a witch movie, so we need to have uh, naked old witch people standing in the background at some <laughs> point in, in the forest or something. <laughs> Hot. <Yeah>. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not overdone. They're just sort of in the background. No. Just creepy. It's creepy just quick, background. you know, a couple times. Like, yeah, I'm glad that wasn't overdone because, you know. Yeah. Oh, and man, the, the little, little, like, the, the mom making those miniature, miniature things. That was such oh, a good yeah. idea. That was cool. The women in horror movies always have like weird niche like jobs. You ever notice that? <laughs> <laughs> I did not notice that. They're like, That's I'm a piano key carver or like <laughs> I'm a fucking <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I never thought it's that always that was something a job. like that though. It's always like yeah. some weird thing. You're and right. you're like oh. and they're always like real cool. <laughs> Whatever. Just a weird observation. <laughs> I never noticed. Made. I never thought about it. <laughs> yeah, they're always like a photographer, <laughs> a painter, like a weird niche, like, you know. If somebody said a photographer or a painter, I'd be okay. <laughs> if somebody said, I make miniature models of things, that's right. a very specific job. That's weird, yeah. Very, uh, very movie. <laughs> and I loved it, like, one of those early scenes when you, like, they're they're going going right into the little miniature thing, and then it plays the scene, that's fucking movie magic. Oh, yeah, yeah. It actually, like, tricked me for, like, a few seconds there, you know? Thinking, like, is that the real place I'm looking at? Yeah. Nerp, dollhouse. Nerp. <laughs> Nerp. Uh, I'll, I'll watch it again. I'd love to just read, like, the creators, like, if they would, like, put some commentary out there I could listen to, or yeah. just really, like, get into, like, what it's about. That would be really cool to read or hear. I don't know if it got enough praise. It yeah, how so, did it like, do? I'm secretive. so like out of touch. <laughs> I don't know, but like, they kept they kept the shit so secret, and I didn't hear any spoilers, and I didn't watch any until after. Me I... either. So like, I I'd liked it. Maybe it was. So I barely secret, knew what even... it was about. <laughs> exactly, like nobody knew what I it was about. Barely knew. <laughs> they just knew it was really good. Yeah, I just knew it was like family, just kind of in this like state of decay, like grieving weird period I haven't i don't even think many of my friends have seen it um yeah it's not a big with the people i watched thing. it with well i mean if it's a horror movie you're not usually horror movies don't get a ton of attention because they're true horror movies. unless it's a slasher thing sequel or whatever yeah. <laughs> another halloween it's an original concept but using ideas from a lot of previous things mm-hmm and that's like that's okay. Like everything, I believe everything has been done, but mm -hmm. not done in the same way. All the ideas are out there, and people that can put them together in a really interesting way is fucking amazing. Yeah, it's like it was done very tasteful. It was tastefully, tastefully. I think in the uh, hands of a different like director, this might not have worked. Oh yeah, no. Like oh it yeah, little girl just gets subtle away. enough just shocking enough you know brother guy when he's in the he's like in the classroom and the thing starts to take him over he starts yes, bashing his head i was gonna mention that and he freaks the fuck freaks out. out yeah it's nuts. Or there was another moment where like he's in the classroom daydreaming and he looks at his reflection in a window i think or something and yep. while his face is like straight worn you know sad in the reflection it was this like evil grin like this just scary face you know like well that that's so definitely I guess movie that was that's tropey it's a little movie tropey yeah. 
It this, is. This movie gets by. It is mm-hmm. able to do those things. In the in the trailer, when I saw that, I was like, ah, that looks like a bunch of other shit. But I could tell <laughs> in the trailer they weren't showing a lot of stuff. So I was like, okay, yeah. this might be interesting. I'm really glad they didn't show a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. I loved going in and just that first Charlie's death. That just, I mean, that shocked the hell out of me. Love that. Anytime a movie can surprise me these days, I am happy with it. Mm-hmm. And this movie surprised in all the right ways that would give me nightmares if I wasn't already such a cynical motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this... So I wonder what happens, like, at the end. Like, the cult, they, like, uh, they get what they want, you know? They crown their king. What's next? You know, I want to know what happens. Hereditary what is too. It? What's going to happen now? I mean, <laughs> sequel. I Hereditary. guess that whole like town is fucked. I mean, what's, yeah, exactly. Like, what's their goal here? <laughs> well, all the witches' goals are Take the people the in there. Like, they were all just trying to get riches and have a good life. That's the whole reason they did That's it. That's true. It was about riches, huh? So I mean, like the demons just walking around in the world, I guess. And as long as they have riches and things go well for them, that's all they were wanting, right? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a huge destructive force that was trying to like destroy the world or anything. Mm-hmm. It was just a demon that just walking around. All about money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could end this. We could end this by just doing a ton of clicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they, they fucking, he gets the demon in him, and they crown him king, and he's, and it's such a small group of followers, so like, it those is, yeah. people get riches, and... Yeah, I guess, is that it? Sucks. They just, that's it? it he just lives, what, is until the it? body's no good anymore? I don't and... know. <laughs> was it worth Ooh. all the trouble? Like... Was it worth, yeah, was it worth it? Oh, dude, in the trailer, they show the scene, they show the little miniature, the mom makes a little miniature of the of the grandma. There's a, there's a moment where the the mom talks about that the grandma didn't want the mother character to breastfeed the child, so the grandma breastfed the child. And I have a lot of questions <gasps> about how that's how? possible. But also, <laughs> they because I don't know which which tit milk. I don't know. <laughs> like how how is the grandma able to have milk? Which tits? <laughs> hey, that's and, good. <laughs> and, uh, that's a band name well they actually changed that you could actually go back and watch like the trailer version and you see that thing and they cover up the witch's tit like breastfeeding the child And but in the movie hmm. you see the fucking the witch tit how is grandma breastfeeding she's got a bunch of demon babies she never told anybody about <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude she just hatched a bunch of witchlings a bunch of little witch tits <laughs> Little titlings, little witchy titties. <laughs> little witchy titties. <laughs> little witchy titlins. Titlins. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I could just talk and talk about it. But I am still have a few questions I need answered. I need answers. I'm going to go back and watch it again. Maybe I can make some sense of it. I would suggest that everybody do that. Yes. It's a very, watch very it good more movie. than once. Yes, you you might need to, but that's up to to you guys. Yeah, maybe you won't. Especially if you just listen to this, you definitely won't need to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do. I think this is important. If if somebody watches or listens to this, maybe it would make them want to watch it more. And, yeah. And I don't think we spoiled it in a way that people are going to not enjoy it. I think no matter. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure if you Google it, it's going to say like it has something to do with witches. So I mean, whatever. Probably. So, somebody said that sort of spoiled it early, and they were like, yeah, it's fucking witch coven thing or whatever. It's like, you didn't need to say that. I was already, like, thinking maybe that was a thing. Uh, I also really enjoyed The Witch a few years ago. I uh, that, what was that, like, was four years ago director. or something? It was done by the same fucking people. Oh, well, that, I mean, that makes total sense. Yeah, and, it, and that <laughs> you was know? good, but it wasn't it was as good great. as this one. Uh, no, it wasn't as good, no. Uh, even though they're not in the same, like, genre or whatever, I'll, I'll put it up there with, like, 1408 or like Insidious. It was probably closer to like an Insidious than like a 1408. But as far as yeah, like a psychological yeah, thriller, psychological like, ones that I actually enjoyed, I'd put it up there with those for sure. Sure, yeah. And even the first Conjuring, like that same vein, you know. Yeah. I'd say yeah, Conjuring's a good 
It's a good comparison. Just like I said, like the uh, feel, like the way it's filmed and the, the way it yeah. looks, very much reminds me of how I felt when I watched The Conjuring. I, I think a lot of that was like the set design and the and like the colors that they chose. The colors, yeah, yeah. kind of gloom. Yeah, the the house is a certain type of house, and it's shady, shadowy in certain ways and whatnot. And all the white people are pale. <laughs> but we need some pale ass fucking white. Yeah. Look sickly and pale. To fucking walk around on the ceiling like Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... Well, I thought it was fucking great. And yep. Apparently you. Agree Glad with you agree. Me. Yes. Yeah, man. And it's good. It's good. It's good to, hear. to talk about it, it with someone. It's like, nice. Don't like, get as much. It's, and, like, you know. it's like therapy. Like you kind of need to <laughs> yeah. talk about this with somebody else that yes. like understands. And you might need therapy after watching this. Mm -hmm. This has been fucking amazing. I really, really enjoyed hanging out with you again and talking about this movie with somebody that actually appreciates it and understands it in a certain way. You're a fucking glorious individual. Hey, thank you so much. It was really fun. I love this movie. It's really fun to talk about it with someone who liked it as much, maybe more, you know, and who can really just dig into, like, all the craziness, you know? Good stuff. It was fun. I agree. Everybody check out Hey Ghoul Friends channel on YouTube. Link in description. Amazing person. Amazing friend. Thank you so much for being Aww, on here with me and doing you. this with me. Hey Ghoul Friend. Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>